Hi guys, it's Tracy and I'm here to talk about blackheads and how I prevent and get rid of them. So first, what are blackheads? Blackheads are those gross, unsightly black dots that we see on our nose and on our face. Um, we don't want them, they're not sexy, they're not there's nothing beneficial about having blackheads and so we need to try to get rid of those things. Um, blackheads is basically just a collection of like dirt and oil and some bacteria. In our pores, when it oxidizes, um, it turns black. I don't have a ton of blackheads, but I do have sort of like the precursor to blackheads, which are I guess are like white heads because they're kind of like white on my um, skin. If you can see, I'm going to get really, really close and this is going to be really up close and personal, but it's okay. I love you guys that much and I hate blackheads that much. So um, I'm, I don't know if you can see, let me see if I can zoom. You see like around here, I have like some blackheads as well as some little, I think, I hope you can see, uh, some like white heads and stuff, like all on my nose. All of which is just unsightly, we don't want it and we want to try to get rid of it. So I'm gonna show you um, sort of what I do to, again, prevent and get rid of blackheads. So that's why I have on no makeup now, um, because I obviously am going to walk you through the process that I do. Um, before you get started, you want to wash off any makeup that you have, which is what I did, so my face is completely bare right now. And then, um, you're going to create a mask. And I actually have a separate video on this mask, but I'll show you again what I do. But if you want like more information about it, um, then I'll link the video down below. It's like an old video. So that's why I wanted to talk about it again in this video. Anyway, it is the um, Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay. The stuff is amazing. Um, it comes in a jar like this. This is about 10 or $11 or so at Whole Foods or you can get it from Vitacost, which is, um, uh, of course, one of my favorite places to buy anything, and I'll link that down below. Um, and it is 100% calcium, natural, benzenite clay. That is what this is. Um, the back says a whole bunch of stuff. It gives you, like, directions and stuff. You can use it facial, facials, acne, body wraps, clay baths, foot soaks, um, chilled clay for knee packs and insect bites. Like, the benefits of benzenite clay are unbelievable, but I pretty much strictly use this just for my skin. Although I do know people who have put it on their hair. Um, I know people who have like ingested it. I don't think this is the one that you ingest though. I could be wrong about that, but um, yeah, people who ingest it, it's like what it does is it like clears your body of toxins. So when you ingest it, it's going to clear out the toxins. When you put it on your face, it's going to draw all of the toxins up to the surface and pretty much suck them out. So this is like pretty much step one of the whole blackhead, death to the blackhead process. Um, so it comes, this is a 16 ounce or one pound jar, I believe, Six. I don't know, I think. I think this is 16 ounces, one pounds, and like I said, um, 10 bucks, you get it, so you can see like it's like dusty. Anyway, it looks like this, um, ooh, I just dropped some, um, it looks like this, it, I've had this bottle, this jar, for probably like two years, and that, that, and I, that's, that's it, that's all I've used. So, if you buy this, yeah, it's going to cost you like $10, but it's also going to last you like forever. I'm like, I don't even know when I'm going to get rid of this stuff. And I've like given it away. So, um, not only have I used it myself, um, on a pretty regular basis, but I also give it away. I guess I've kind of been slumming a little bit lately on the masking, which is why I'm having some blackhead, whitehead things, but that's good because I can talk about it to you guys. So, uh, on the back, it also gives you instructions on what to do. And yeah, so it says world's most powerful facial deep pore cleansing. And like, yeah, believe it. This is definitely one of those things where you need to believe the hype because this stuff is amazing. Like every time I use it, my face like glows, like not immediately after cause it's kind of red, but, um, which is usually what happens after you put on any type of mask. But um, like the next day, like when I wake up in the morning, I, I feel like my face just glows. Like I feel like it's completely exfoliated. It is wonderful. Like I just, my, I love my skin the day after I use this stuff. So, um, definitely I would say this is like a staple. This is like my holy grail facial mask. I will use no other. This is the only one that I use. I don't even own any other facial masks. I don't make any other facial masks. This is kind of the only one that I use. And... 
Um, what else can I say about it? Whatever. It's awesome and it's amazing. And like I said, $10 at Whole Foods. You can get it from Vitacost. I'll put my link down below. Um, if you sign up, if you haven't signed up before, you might have signed up already, but if you haven't signed up with my referral link, then it'll give you $10 and you can actually purchase this and the other thing that I'm going to talk about, which is like step two of the process. So, um, this I think is like seven or $8 on Vitacost. So you save a little money, a little bit of money. And if you, um, sign up for my, under my referral link, then you're going to get $10 to spend anyway. So then you're getting this for free. So how awesome is that? All right. So this is ingredient numero uno. Ingredient numero dos is um, organic apple cider vinegar and apple cider vinegar is like amazing. It's the cure all to like everything. I promise you like look up like stomach ache and apple cider vinegar or like, um, sprained ankle and apple cider vinegar or, um, the flu and apple cider vinegar. And I promise you this cures like everything. Like anytime I have any sort of ailment, like stomach problems, um, or, and I do have like a, an acid reflux problem. So anytime I have an acid reflux problem, apple cider vinegar is like the cure. Um, if you have like a sore throat, apple cider vinegar. If you have like the flu, apple cider vinegar. If you have acne, apple cider vinegar. If you have dry skin, apple cider vinegar. If you have oily skin, also apple cider vinegar. It's like, I promise you, like it cures probably like 90% of the problems out there, both internal and external. It's good for your hair. It's good for your skin. It's good for like your organs. Like it's good for everything. And so I always have a big bottle of organic apple cider vinegar, preferably organic, the unfiltered kind, the kind that has like the little pulp. And you see like there's like pulp at the bottom because it's unfiltered. Um, but if you can't find any organic around you, then that's okay. Just make sure that it's apple cider vinegar and not like flavored, like apple cider flavored vinegar. Cause I think they have that and that's not going to do you any good. You want like apple cider vinegar and Bragg's is the best. You can also get this from Whole Foods or Vitacost.com, which I will link down below again. And this stuff is amazing. Of course, it's going to smell like apple cider vinegar, which does not smell good to most people. But like to me, like the smell doesn't really bother me. I actually like randomly like weird I like the smell of vinegar maybe because I'm just so used to it because I use it for so many things so I actually appreciate the smell just fine it doesn't bother me um you are going to put this into the mask or it with the clay you're going to mix it with the clay to create the mask and so you will smell like apple cider vinegar and that's fine okay so now let's get to the mask and again I have a whole nother video on like whatever the mask but, um I'll just show you sort of what I do so you need to use um you can use any materials you want but just don't use metal my dog is whining because I have him in his cage okay so you just don't want to use metal so this is just a ceramic fun bowl with like a fun little face on it and then this is a um, foundation brush it's a real techniques foundation brush and yes it does have metal up here but I don't get the clay on this part so you just want to kind of use the tip you can use um a plastic spoon just don't use like a metal spoon but you can use like wood or plastic <clears throat> excuse me phlegm in my throat and um to mix it as well and that works perfectly fine just don't use metal because um the clay <clears throat> excuse me i have like sorry i feel like i have a frog in my throat the clay um mixes with the metal and there's like some sort of weird reaction so you don't want to do that okay so basically i'm going to take a little bit of clay and I will show you how much um, I'm just going to sort of scoop it out with the brush and this is uh, I don't know maybe about a teaspoon and then I'm going to drop it into the bowl and that's usually enough <clears throat> so it looks like that maybe a little bit more it looks like it maybe needs a little bit more I always end up making more than I need which is fine I mean it seems like it's wasteful but there's just so much in that little tub so I did two of that so you can I mean I'm not gonna measure it I just kind of eyeball it but if you really want to measure it I would say take like a teaspoon and a half or something I don't know and then um, get your apple cider vinegar I'm gonna shake it up because there's pulp in it so I want to get like you know the pulp like going on in there okay and then um, I'm going to pour it into the bowl and I'll show you the consistency that I like to have it. Okay, when you pour it in, it's gonna fizz. Can you hear that? Yeah, so it's gonna fizz a little bit. Don't be alarmed, that's normal. Okay, so after I mix it together, it kinda looks like that. I had to add a little bit more. Um, the back of the jar actually says to um, do like 
half and half, like one part vinegar to one part, um, one part apple cider vinegar to one part clay, but I find that that's a little bit runny for me and I like it to be a little bit thicker. So this is the consistency that I get it. Um, just kind of, it looks like a mask, like one that doesn't really run. So you can see that that's not really runny. Okay. So, um, oh, put your hair up obviously. So I just put my hair like in like a top knot and then just to make sure that it's out of your way. And then you're going to paint your face with the mask. Okay. So I can't really talk when I have the mask on because what, what's going to happen is it's going to harden. And it, it may feel a little bit uncomfortable. Now, the back of the thing, the back of the jar says to leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes. I actually leave it on until it's like completely dry because I like it to be like, like a mask. Like, I mean, like a hard <laughs> clay mask on my face. You can leave it on for as long as you want. Um, 15 to 20 minutes is enough to get the toxins out. I just kind of like to leave it on for a little bit longer. So I typically leave it on for 45 minutes to an hour. That could be painful for some people because it is like, I mean, it's going to like get hard on your face. And then... What's going to happen is you're going to feel sort of like a heartbeat in your face. Like you're going to feel like a pulse in your face. Um, and I like that feeling because then the blood is circulating. So you want blood to circulate because it really helps. One, it's just good for you to just circulate blood everywhere. And it really helps with like the anti-aging process. Getting oxygen to, getting like b the blood oxygen to your face, to the surface of your skin is going to be really, really good for your skin. So I do recommend it recommend leaving it on for that long but if you can't take it and it's painful then by all means wash it off you've done enough by just leaving it on for 15 minutes okay so I'm gonna do that then you'll see me with it painted on and then the next time you see me um it will be washed off because I can't talk when I have it on so I'm gonna put it on in and dry for 45 minutes to an hour I'll just go do something the best thing to do is like you know, get on the internet, watch some YouTube videos, or like read a book, or watch television, like do something where it doesn't require you talking, um, because you really can't talk. Like it's going to harden and your face is going to be pretty much frozen in time for a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do, and then I will come back on camera after I've washed it off to move on to step two. Okay, so let's paint this on. I'm just going to take my foundation brush. This is the foundation brush that I really don't use for foundation, and I'm just going to paint it all over my skin. And I like to cake the stuff on. I mean, I made a huge batch, like my face is pretty much done, but um, I like, I, again, I said I always make like too much because it's just a habit. So I'm just going to use it all up or try to use it all up at least. Maybe that's why it's like on for like an hour because <laughs> I put on so much and you really don't need to put on this much I guess like you could just do like a thin layer and that would be enough so yeah I really do try to concentrate like more on my t-zone my forehead my nose and my chin since that is sort of like the areas that are the oiliest on my skin even though I don't have oily skin that's the oiliest part of my skin so I try to make sure that I concentrate the um, mask on those parts um, and that's pretty much it. I'm still talking right now because it's not dry yet. So, um, I'm now going to just let it dry. And, um, when I feel that pulsating feeling, then I'll wash it off and I will come back and show you step two, which is actually going to consist of clarifying pore strips. So I will be back in just a few seconds, a few seconds for you, but like an hour for me. So I'm going to go put together a bookshelf while I wait. Okay, talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay, so as you can see, it's dry, and I'm having a very difficult time talking, so, but I wanted to come on here and mention, sorry, like, really, it's kind of like, I can't even blink, it's like, so hard on my face, um, is you want to get, like, a washcloth or something to help you take it off, um, and use warm water. The warm water is going to not only help dissolve it, but it's also going to help open up your pores to make sure that all of the dirt is coming out. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my bathroom, use this and um, some warm water to remove all the stuff. I'm not going to um, wash it with a cleanser or anything like that. I'm just simply going to remove it with this and some warm water. And then I will be back to talk about the pore strip. Okay, I'll be right back, okay? Okay, so I have washed it all off of my face and I'm gonna get a little bit closer so that you can kind of see. I don't know if you can see, but there's like, like right here, for example, move this light so you can see better. Um, you see there's kind of like lines and cringles. 
that's from where the clay mask like hardens. So it's going to look a little bit weird and your face is going to be kind of blotchy and kind of red. I don't know if you can really tell on camera, but um, like there, it's like really red or on my nose. Like, But that's okay because it's going to last like that for a little bit, not too long. Um, usually I do it at night, so it's not a big deal. I never do this before I go out anywhere, only because I don't know, I don't really know how long the blotchiness lasts. So I always do it at night when I have nowhere to go, but just stay home and veg out and watch TV and stuff like that. Um, okay, so that was step one. Step one was to do the clay mask, to bring all the impurities to the surface, and then the clay mask is going to sort of wash it away as well as exfoliate your skin. Okay, so your skin should definitely feel smoother. Um, I haven't moisturized or haven't done anything like that yet because I'm not quite done with the process of removing the blackheads. So if you feel like, my, for some people the blackheads come right out, no big deal. I have a really difficult time extracting the blackheads out of my pores. So I need to follow up my mask. Like once everything has sort of been brought to the surface, if it, I'm going to take away everything that has not been washed away. And to do that, I'm going to use um, clear pore strips. You can use whatever clear pore strips um, are your favorite, your clear pore strips of choice, if you even have to. If you're not a fan of clear pore strips because it bothers you, then by all means skip this step. I just need it because, especially like around my nose area, it just doesn't take away everything. So I am using Earth Therapeutics Clarity Clarifying Tea Tree Pore Cleansing Strips. It refines and deep cleans the pores on the nose and it has um, organic tea tree oil which purifies on contact. Um, so yeah, so this is, you know, like one of those natural ones. I really like this one. I get this one from Vitacost. One, you get 10 nose strips in a box, which is, and it's cheaper than the Biore ones or the Basha ones, which I've tried. Um, the Biore ones are like 10 bucks from Target for like six or maybe eight, I'm not sure. And then the Basha ones are like $15 for six from Sephora. And this one has 10 and it's like maybe five bucks off of Vitacost.com. So I'll put that link down below as well, but, um, love this stuff. It's, it's a product of Korea, if that makes any difference to you. But I love it because it has tea tree oil. And tea tree oil is really, really great for acne breakouts. If you suffer from acne, if you apply just a little bit of tea tree oil to your breakouts, the tea tree oil really helps to kind of zap those zits away. So I really love the fact that it has tea tree oil because it's going to get into my pores. Um, it's going to prevent any acne flare-ups, and it's also going to get rid of some of that oil. So I'm just going to follow the instructions that are on this box. Each clear pore strip is usually different. Either you wet the strip and put it on your nose, or you wet your nose and put the strip on top of that. So I'm going to follow those instructions um, and then I'm going to leave it on for about 10 to 15 minutes. The strip should stiffen as it dries. So once it is um, dry, then I will rip it off and then show you all the gunk that was in my pores. Okay, so yeah, step two, clear pore strip. I will be back in about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. Well, 10 to 15 minutes for me, not for you. For you, it's like five Okay, so I probably waited, I don't know, maybe like 20 minutes or so, like with the sun, because I was like putting together a bookshelf, so excuse like my disheveledness. I probably should have said that at the beginning of the video. But now I'm going to take it off and show you, if you can see it with the light, the, um, the grossness that has come off of my nose. All right, yeah, that's gross. Yeah, that's pretty disgusting. Anyway, okay, um, let me see if I can show you. Do you see that grossness? Can you see that? That's disgusting. It's really gross. I always inspect it after I take it off. Okay, Sorry. so now that I've inspected it, I'm going to go rinse my face off with warm water. One, to get the excess glue off of my nose, and two, to sort of open up my pores again because um, now that I've gotten all the gunk out of my pores, it's the best time to kind of treat my pores so that I don't, this is the prevention part. Okay, so I'll be back in just a couple seconds. Okay, so I have washed my face, um, of the glue and I've used, uh, warm water to open up my pores again and now I'm going to treat it so that it does not 
create more blackheads and as you can see like the blotchiness in my skin like the redness has really started to fade away and it's you know going away pretty quickly so anyway um, I'm now going to use you can either use a toner or an astringent or witch hazel whatever you prefer preferably something with salicylic acid because salicylic acid um, and you can ask like any dermatologist or whatever is like really kind of like the best way to treat your pores from the inside out it's going to exfoliate inside of your pores and keep it clean as possible um i don't you typically use salicylic acid it's a little bit harsh for me but if you suffer for, from acne or if you have oily skin then it's really really good for you um but it's again it's a, it's a little bit harsh for me so i don't use it i'm just going to use my toner and my toner contains willow bark um and salicylic acid is made from the willow tree so the willow bark or the willow tree whatever so I'm gonna use my toner this is my cellular renewing wrinkle defense CoQ 10 skincare perfecting toner it's my nighttime toner I also talked about it in my is toner necessary video that I will link down below if you are interested in knowing about it so I'm um, just putting it onto a cotton pad and putting it all over my face and your face should be pretty clean um, because you know you it shouldn't be dirty like the the mask rinses away really really clean and you cleanse your skin ahead of time so you should really be fine okay after I apply the toner I just sort of let it dry a little bit to make sure that it gets into my pores <clears throat> because that willow bark you know what the salicylic acid stuff is really good for preventing blackheads and exfoliating the skin okay and then now that all of my pores are opened up it's the best time to like put like great like nutrient rich emollient stuff onto your skin because your pores are open and it's going to you know just suck up all the good stuff so it's probably one of the only times that i use a uh, serum um i just don't use serums very often one because they're kind of expensive and i like to use it like every night I don't know, like you'd run out of it really quickly, and two, um, it's just kind of that extra step at night that I'm just maybe a little bit too lazy to do. So, but I always do it after I um, put on the mask because that's when my skin is the clearest, it's been exfoliated, all of my pores are devoid of any debris, and so it can really soak up all the nutrients of the serum. And I'm using Skin Appetite's um, NutriPro Night Serum. Use any serum of your choosing. They have serums in drugstores. They have serums um, at counters. And I just usually do like, you know, a little bit, two small pumps, and then just begin to apply it onto my skin. Okay. Make sure that it soaks up all that stuff. And, and, and serums are usually just like concentrated forms of like the vitamins and the minerals and all the really good stuff that you find in your like night creams and stuff like that. It's like a concentrated version. So it's really good to apply it onto your skin after you have masked. And then I'm just going to let that sit for just a few seconds. Okay, then after the serum has soaked in, I'm now going to apply my night cream. This is Nuance's um, Anti-Aging Super Cream. It's what I currently use and I love it. So I'm just going to take the night cream and apply it on to my skin as just another little barrier of moisture. Um, if you have oily skin and you don't really like using moisturizer, then that's okay. Then serums are definitely better for you because it's going to give you all of the goodness that a night cream is going to give you, but it's not going to be as heavy you know, sometimes if you have like oily skin, you really don't want anything like creamy or oily or anything on your skin. So serums are really, really good for you if you have oily skin. And that is how I treat, get rid of, and prevent blackheads. Uh, I hope that was really helpful for you guys. Oh, I do want to um, probably go over some FAQs that people are probably going to ask. How often do I do this? Um, ideally, I would like to do it once a week uh, for my t skin type, which is... Um, the normal side, the dry side of normal, rather. If you have oily skin, you can do it, you know, however often you want. Um, you know, maybe twice a week or three times a week, even if you have like excessively oily skin. If you have dry skin, then definitely like don't try to do more than once a week. If you have oily skin, then you can do it several times a week. Just um, you're gonna have to try it with trial and error. Uh, number two, what if you break out? Like, okay, so the first time that you use this, um, the apple with the apple cider vinegar and the benzonite clay the first time you might break out and it's gonna seem really weird because you're like breaking out and You're like this is supposed to get rid of the breakouts. Well, what it's doing is it's 
Again, like I said, it is a detoxifier and it's going to draw all of the gross, nasty stuff to the surface of your skin. And that may not wash away when you wash the clay mask off. So the first time that you do it, you might break out and that's just because your skin is purging itself of all the nasty, gross stuff. So I would say stick with it and still do it like once a week um, for like a month and see how your skin fares. Because I promise you like the first time, for some people, the first time they use it, they, they do have like sort of like an eruption and it looks like a breakout, but it's not a breakout. It's actually a, a purging that your skin is doing. Um, okay, can I use um, other pore strips? Absolutely, you can use whatever pore strips you want. You don't even have to use pore strips. Sometimes the, the mask is enough and it gets everything to go away and you're good to go. Um, these are just the ones, again, that I like, but you can use whatever you want. Um, again, you, can, you don't have to use apple cider vinegar, you can use water. Um, if you have extremely dry skin, then I would suggest adding in a couple drops of jojoba oil to the clay mixture. And that will um, sort of prevent any dryness because apple cider vinegar can be drying um, if you have already dry skin. But if you have like normal skin or normal to dry skin or oily skin, then the apple cider vinegar should be fine. But if your skin is excessively dry, then I do suggest adding a couple drops of jojoba oil, just a couple, to the mixture. You can also add um, like vit some vitamin E oil. That's also so good. I've done that like in the winter time when my skin is like super duper parched, but I want to do the mask. I've added in the uh, vitamin E oil or just taken like a capsule of vitamin E and squeezed it in. Um, you can also add tea tree oil if you have acne. Uh, I definitely suggest adding like a couple drops of tea tree oil. Tea tree oil, um, tea tree oil um, looks like this. You can get it. Th I got this from Whole Foods. You can also get it from Vitacost though. Um, it's like one ounce and it lasts forever because I've had this forever because you literally only need like one drop at a time. So yeah, I would add like one or two at the most drops of this to the uh, clay mixture and use that on your skin if you have acne problems or you're having an acne breakout. Um, but all in all, like this stuff has been working for me for like years and I've gotten like all of my friends addicted to this mask. Uh, like I said, I've given it away because there's just so much that comes in this tub and it lasts forever. Like it's like an investment. So I hope you guys like that. I hope that was helpful for somebody. Um, if you guys have any questions at all about any of the products that I use or um, any of the methods that I use or have any questions about, you know, clay or apple cider or whatever, just leave a comment down below or tweet me um, or send me a private message. That's fine too. And uh, that's it. I'll see you guys next video. Take care. Bye.